How you doing guys and gals, my name is Callum X and in today's video I want to show you a free plugin which you can install to OBS which helps you improve the EQ of your microphone whether it's a headset whether it's a USB mic like the Blue Yeti I'm using in front of me. Not everybody has the same setup, not everyone can get the microphone in the same position. Uh, so this will help you to boost those frequencies that you might be missing perhaps if you have to have your microphone slightly further away. With a bit of luck, if your microphone sounds like this, by the end of this video, once you've installed this plugin and tweaked these EQ filters, it should sound a little bit more like this. Let's get straight into it. All right, guys, so the first thing I'm going to need to do is download the Marvel GEQ plugin. This is the plugin I'm talking about. It's completely free of charge and it's available for Mac and Windows. The link is down in the description, so go check that out. Now, when you get to their website, you will be presented with this page. You can see you have download AU for Mac, download VST for Mac, or download VST for Windows 64 and 32. Download VST for Windows 64 and 32 is the one we are going to click on. As per usual, if you enjoy this video, make sure you smash the thumbs up button and hit subscribe and the notification bell if you want to see more. I also stream on Twitch if you're interested and you want to ask any questions, you can always hit me up on Twitch. Now, once it's downloaded, you open up the installer. It's going to ask you to make app changes to your device. The answer is yes. <laughs> Uh, except the agreement, obviously. We're going to install for 64-bit. Obviously, if you're running a 32-bit system, then you would install the 32-bit one. We're going to install the 64-bit one because I'm running a 64-bit operating system. It should automatically tick the one that you need, so you shouldn't have to worry about it. But if it does tick all of them for any, by any chance, or if it just ticks none of them, bear that in mind. So we're going to click Next, and we're going to choose where we want it to install. That's completely fine, Program Files. Uh, we are going to put it in the Voxengo folder. Perfect. And go. It's going to install the plugin. And now it is done. Okay, so once you've got the plugin installed, you don't need to restart your computer, although it might be worth it possibly, but I personally didn't. Then you need to right click on the settings wheel for your microphone. Click on filters, click the plus button down here, and VST two times plugin. You want to add one. Okay, once you've got your plugin installed, you need to open OBS. You don't need to restart your computer. You just need to go straight into OBS. Very, very simple. Then find your microphone in the audio mixer. Right click on the cog wheel and click filters. Now, as you can see, I've already got it installed, but for the sake of anybody installing this for the first time, you're going to hit the plus button. You're going to go to VST two times plugin and just click OK. There, you're going to be able to select a plugin and you should see Marvel GEQ in the list. So I always tick the open interface when active button. It's, I don't know, I personally just like to have the EQ available whenever I need to change it. If I'm streaming, for example, on Twitch or if I'm recording on YouTube, I just find it's, it's just nice to have it available without having to click too many buttons to get to it. But that's entirely up to you. All right, with all that done, click Open Plugin Interface, and there it is. There is your beautiful EQ settings panel for your microphone. This is a godsend, especially for anybody who has to have their microphone slightly further away. As you might or might not know, the further away your microphone is, the more tinny your voice is going to sound. So being able to boost those lower frequencies is really going to improve the quality of your mic and how it sounds on Twitch and make you sound a lot more professional. So hopefully have a little play around with this. As you can see, I boost the bass frequencies and the trebles a bit as well to try and balance that out. But my microphone is approximately, I'd say maybe eight inches away from my mouth ish, maybe nine. And uh, I'm using a blue Yeti as well. So that's just a slight example of what it is. I can just tell you right now, this is what it sounds with the plugin on, and this is what it sounds like without the plugin on. So I think we will both agree it definitely sounds a lot better with the plugin on. All right, I hope you found this video useful. If you did, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. It really helps me out. And if you want to catch each new video as and when they're released, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell. If you have any questions, you want to come ask them to me live, I do stream on Twitch. The link is on the right-hand side of the screen right now, as well as down in the description. And on the left-hand side of the screen right now, you should see some more videos that might help you out too. Hopefully, I will see you in the next one. Guys, take care of yourselves and happy streaming. I'll speak to you soon.